what is up? It is Steve. Today I'm going to be doing a tips and tricks video for the iPod Nano 7th generation. So here it is. It is a very good iPod and I definitely do recommend it to anyone who's looking to buy an iPod. So we'll just power it on here. So there's two very simple hacks. You've probably already heard of them. But see, all you want to do is go into settings, hit general, and then go down to date and time. So you'll see here, time on wake. So that should be turned off once you when you get your iPod. So what you want to do, slide it on. See, it's on now. So that means when you go back to your home screen, once you shut your iPod off, when you turn it on, the home screen will be on. So there you go. That's just a little cool thing to get the time easier. So, the next hack is a pretty simple one. You see, you can see the volume rockers right here, and you see there's a flat spot in the middle between the two volume rockers. So, to use that button, all you want to do is go into music. I'm going to pick a song here. Let's do, I don't know, um, Payphone by Maroon 5. So you can see it is paused. So what you want to do is click once in the middle button. You can see now it's playing. So that's definitely a cool little feature. This button is for playing and pausing. So click once to pause, click once again to play. Now to change the track, what you want to do to go one track forward, double click. You can see it changed to Skrillex Rock and Roll. To go back one to Payphone, all you want to do is go hit it one, two, one, three times. One, two, three. Just like that. Payphone right there. So there you go, guys. That's another cool little tip. I'm going to click the home button. Now, this is how to bring up your diagnostic screen for the iPod Nano. So you want to shut it off with the power button. Shut it off. Then you want to hold down the up volume rocker, down, home, and power. Hold them all. You can see the iPod turns on. There's the volume right there. You just want to keep holding. See the screen goes black. Then it goes into the Apple logo. You'll see the diagnostic imaging screen flash right there. Did you guys see it? You'll see the Apple logo. And you see, diagnostic imaging. You want to let go right there and then hold back on when the Apple symbol comes. Then you'll be in diagnostics. So there you go. This is definitely a very interesting screen. You see, you have power, audio, remote, LCD, 10, FM, memory, touch panel, Excel, Bluetooth, about, dock, and standby. So to scroll through these, you want to use the up and down volume rockers to scroll through them. This is definitely a cool thing. It's very fun to mess around in. So if you go into LED to click into something, just hit the home button. If you go into LED, you can see backlight setting. Click it. You can adjust you can adjust the brightness of the of the iPod. To sit, to go back out to diagnostic, all you have to do is click the menu button. There you go. Go right all the way back out. So to get out of this, all you have to do, and there are other things to do in this, but that's the only one I'm going to show. So to get back out, all you have to do is hold all the buttons again. Wait till the screen turns black. There you go. Let go. It'll go into the Apple logo. If my camera will. There you go. It goes into the Apple logo. And then you're back on the menu. So to do another quick tip, all you want to do, turn your iPod on. See, it's at that. Then you hit the power button. And then you see it turns into that. It goes black. Now to turn this back on, you can't hit the home button. Neither the volume rockers, anything will do anything. Clicking the power button won't even do anything. This is good if you want to lock your iPod permanently when you're at school or something at work. To turn it back on, simply hold down. There you go. It's back on. Definitely a very cool thing. I didn't I did enjoy making this video guys. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe all down below. And I will talk to you in the next video. Peace out.